Thousands gather for Friday prayers outside Jerusalem's Al-Aqsa Mosque. But this week it's different. Palestinians are calling for a day of rage, protests against U.S. President Donald Trump's recognition of Jerusalem as Israeli capital. Some heeded the call. The Islamist group Hamas, which controls the Gaza Strip, has urged Palestinians to launch a new uprising or intifada. Neither Trump nor a million like him will make us give in, he says. This is our country, our land, our Jerusalem, and we're not going to abandon it. Even if the whole of the U.S. arrives here, it won't destabilize us. Even the smallest of our children have been mobilized, and U.S. action will only make us more determined. Al-Aqsa is ours, Jerusalem's ours, and we'll defend them, blood and soul. We're not doing anything, we've just come to pray and we're peaceful. They throw water on us and the army attacks us while we're just walking. We're not doing anything, we're just praying. Israeli police increased their presence in Jerusalem on Friday, preparing for the Palestinian Day of Rage. However, no extra restrictions were placed on access to worshippers at the Flashpoint Al Aqsa Mosque. Police said they had no indication of unrest there. Violence has often erupted at the Jerusalem compound where Al Aqsa is located, on top of a hill known to Muslims as the Noble Sanctuary and to Jews as the Temple Mount.